it does uh, seem to be a situation that is worrying for everyone across the board. I mean, as you mentioned, entering that one million mark uh, after Spain and France here in Europe, uh, the other very grim figure really is the death rate. I mean, in the last 24 hours, we saw 623 COVID-related deaths. Now, that's the deadliest day in the last six months. The last time we saw a figure that high was back in April, uh, April the 6th. So really, the concern is high there in terms of the death rate, but also admissions into the intensive care units. Uh, it really is past the threshold, really, in many regions across the country. And the doctors, the healthcare workers on the ground are sounding the alarm. The leader, the head of the Italian Order of Doctors is saying there will be an additional 10,000 deaths in a month if a severe lockdown is not put in place. And I see you at admissions are really doubling uh, every 10 days. So really, they're saying that the situation is very dire. Words like critical, dramatic, close to collapse is really being used to describe the situation on the ground. We're getting reports about ambulances in queues outside the hospital in Turin, as well as uh, people being treated in their cars outside the hospital in the area around Naples. So really, a uh, cause of concern for the healthcare workers who are having to deal with this in hospitals across the country. The government had made this decision to divide the country into these so-called red, orange and yellow uh, regions based on their risk levels. And this was ascertained looking at the infection rate as well as hospital occupancy and a host of other uh, criteria. But there is division between those regional governments and uh, the central government because uh, they're saying it's not fair that we're being put into those high-risk areas. And there have been, in fact, accusations of manipulating the data in order to avoid being included in the so-called red zone where it's high risk. Now, at the moment, we have seen an additional five regions being put into the orange sector and the government is expected to meet uh, today uh, with the scientific and health experts to decide whether there will be additional uh, measures put in place and a decision is expected in the weekend. Many are saying that a lockdown is really inevitable and it's only a question of time. But the Prime Minister, Giuseppe Conte, has said that it's he's trying to avoid that absolute lockdown that we saw back in the spring, which really had a devastating impact on the economy here in Italy. Seema Gupta there in Rome.